Hello, everyone. It's me, it's David Mack. Um, apparently, I got this ASMR running. Um, it's really late. I've been, it's like 5.23 a.m. And I've been, like, up all night, so. But, uh, I want to wish everyone a happy healing because just recently I decided to heal everyone, make everyone better. So I would at least like everyone to be thankful for all the things that have been given because I would assume that you would be thankful. Because it's better than not having anything at all, right? So, by this we know the things that must happen, the things that will happen, is destined to happen. So, I would be really concerned if things didn't happen the way Things weren't destined to happen. Because everything that is destined to happen must happen. We've seen images of things that we've never seen before. And we've connected those images to things that we've never seen before. Concerning the Shroud of Turin and concerning me. But I assure you that, that there's no doubt in my mind that me and Jesus are the same person. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's destiny. And now if you read if you read the Old Testament, you'll start to see the truth. You will see that if there is going to be a person named David. Now, notice how you you already know you can't add to the scriptures. We know this, right? So if you add son of or anything like that, then you're adding to it. The thing is, is when when you see things when you see scriptures like uh, Isaiah fifty three or or not just that but uh, Ezekiel thirty seven twenty four when it says that David will be your king forever you can't add son of you can't add anything else because when you do that you're adding to the scriptures and you can't do that. Because it is what it says. And you have to you have to go by what it says. Now, if it would say son of, then it would be written son of. But either way, if you translate it from the Hebrew Bible to the English Bible, you're going to get the same thing. Either way. So... So I have been telling you this this whole time. Many of you just don't listen to me. You don't care. I don't know. I mean, you just, I just don't know. I don't understand why you don't get this. But I see that some of you are because you're starting to realize that you can't add to the scriptures. We know this. Because God is not a liar. And to just add something is to just lie. You can't do that. You can't lie like that. So to just add to it is to lie. And say that it, the Bible says something that it doesn't. You can't do that. It is what it says. <laughs> it says David. Now, notice how it says, what, what are these wounds between your arms? And notice how the Messiah is going to say, wounds that I got in the house of my friends. Now, 
back in the day, 2,000 years ago, I wasn't wounded in the house of my friends. I was wounded in the house of my enemies. That's different. But nowadays, people are going to see me as, well, the, the church exists nowadays. So now those are my friends. So these are Christians and these are friends of you know who. But before before Christianity even existed, before the resurrection, the, the Christianity didn't exist before the resurrection. The resurrection is what made Christianity possible. We know this. We know this because there's no reason to believe that Christianity exists without a resurrection because otherwise you're just believing in nothing. Nothing happened. You can't say that. It did happen. Otherwise, Christianity would not exist. Am I right or am I wrong? So if I tell you that I'm Jesus Christ that came in the name of David, does that make sense to you? Or does it not make sense to you? Now, if we read the scriptures, to me, that makes a whole lot of sense. To you, the way you always say it, like, he just was wounded in the house of his friends. No, it wasn't. Not 2,000 years ago. <laughs> no, not 2,000 years ago. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Back in the day, everybody was his enemy. We know this. We know this. Like, I'm telling you, I'm Jesus. I was there. Because I am him. Even in the marks. And I studied how how crucifixion was back in the day. And I looked at my body and I could see something that no one else couldn't. The reason why people didn't understand stand me or didn't get anything that I was saying or thought I was crazy was because I was born 24 years ago. So to them, it doesn't make any sense why I would come here to die again. So. But if we read the scriptures. We'll read the Old Testament. It really starts to make more sense. Than you really think. Because the more you deny the, the scriptures. The more you deny the truth. The more confused you're going to get. And you're going to have a lack of healing. Because you're forgetting about the person who can heal you. Well, not only you know that he can heal you through the blood. And you know that the God that lives inside of him is the God that can heal you. Is that understood? Or do you want me to elaborate further? Look, I'm telling you everything you need to know about me. Okay. Everything you need to know is in the Old Testament. First of all, the Messiah will be born in another country. Does that make sense? So when we talk about the Messiah in the Old Testament, are we talking about the Antichrist? No. No. No, 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 no. You have to understand that Christ was a Jew. He was not Christian. He was a Jew. He followed Jewish tradition. And he was the Son of God. So we already know that, that Jesus would not reject Ezekiel 37-24 because that would be total stupidity. And that would be just putting away whatever's in there and just saying, oh, that's a lie. No. No. Jesus would never do that. Am I right? 
You think that Jesus is going to lie to you? No. 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 Do you think that I'm going to lie to you? Do you think I'm lying right now? Do you think nothing I'm saying right now is logical to you? Or I'm not giving you enough proof? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, all the proof you need is in that book. All you have to do is read it. That's all you have to do is read the Old Testament. Stop reading the New Testament. Come on, please. Like, please, just stop reading the New Testament. Because when you read the New Testament, you're gonna get it you're gonna get the Old Testament and the New Testament mixed up. And it's not gonna sound the same. It's not gonna sound parallel. It's not gonna sound symmetrical to each other. It's going to sound like two totally different stories. Because it is to two totally different stories. But, you see, when you, what you really need to know is there's actually more to the New Testament than you actually realize. You see, whatever happened 2,000 years ago did, was so literally prophesied in the Old Testament. But what you didn't know was that the Christ does have to come back in the name of David. And if he doesn't, then he's making God a liar. Am I right or am I wrong? Does that make sense? Because I guarantee you, if you continue to believe that, that, uh, that Jesus is a liar, then, <laughs> I mean, you got the wrong son of God. Because <laughs> <coughs> I guarantee you, if I'm not the Messiah, if I'm not who I say that I am, I would consider you clueless because I mean, you say that I'm crazy. I'm telling you exactly what I read because you know what you read. You know what you're reading in there. You know you're not crazy. So we know this. Telling me everything you need to know. Okay? Right here. Right now. So. I just want you to see that I'm not the devil. Okay? I'm not the devil. I'm not going to lie to you or be the father of lies or, I mean... I mean, it's been four years. Me being the devil is very hard to believe. Because I know myself a lot more than you do if you think that I'm the devil. Because, first of all, you ain't even lived with me. You ain't even been around me for like... I mean, think about how much time the people that live with me live with me. How much time. You would think that they would know about me. They know that I'm not the devil. You can go in there and ask them right now. Like, are you really serious about me being the devil? Have you lived with me? Have you got to know me? What did I say to you that convinced you to think that I'm the devil? So how do you know that I'm lying to you? Hmm? Did I stumble? Did I... Did I not elaborate what I'm telling you, what I'm seeing? Everything I see, I'm going to tell you what I see. So, technically and basically, I'm not lying to you. Because I'm just telling you what I see. Okay? So, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. I may see something that's not really there, like, some things may not always be like they seem. But that doesn't mean that I'm lying to you. I'm not telling you what I... I'm not telling you uh, what I do not see. I'm telling you what I do see. Does that make sense? I hope so. Because... I'm just trying to be honest with you. I'm not trying to lie to you or make you feel some type of way towards me. 
I personally feel that I deserve better. I mean, I do. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't have any reason to die on a cross again. I mean, even if I did die on a cross 2,000 years ago, I mean, what was what I have? I would have to die on a cross. Did you really think it was going to be that easy? I mean, did you really think it was going to be that easy? I mean, think about it. Like, you, all right, one thing you're missing. So, what did Jesus say 2,000 years ago? What did I say 2,000 years ago? Let's put let's put it this way. What did I say two thousand years ago? Let's let's say that I'm Jesus, right? So I said that uh, broad is the way. Broad is the way to the path of destruction. Many are they that go there at. So uh, and the next thing that I, that I would say that. Uh, Narrow is the way to everlasting life. Few are they that find it. So, so if we take that and the words, the other words that I said. So let's say that I said this: my words will not pass away. Okay. So let's say that. So let's say this. Uh, he dies on a cross and resurrects the third day. Does that mean that that broad is the way to the path of destruction? Many are they that go there at? Does the does that does that parable pass away? No, 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 no. It does not pass away because my words do not pass away, and they will not pass away. So if I'm telling you these things, I need you to listen to me because you like you just think you know what you're talking about. But you you're taking scriptures and you're picking them and leaving other scriptures out and you're not putting all the pieces together and you're cherry picking. That's what it's called. It's called cherry picking. When you do that you pick your favorite cherry, your favorite verse, and you just go with it. And you preach your favorite verse. And you leave out of the scriptures. You condemn the other scriptures. And you can't do that. You can't do that. So if Jesus said his words will not pass away, that means everything that he has talked about will not pass away. So if you leave anything out, you're basically saying that some of his words, if not most of his words, pass away. And you can't say that. Because then you're calling Jesus a liar. And you can't do that. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you have any final words, any further words, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't condemn me for this. I'm just preaching to you what supposedly needs to be preached to you. Because some of you have a lack of understanding, and I th feel like you need to understand what you didn't understand before. So I feel as if the truth needed to be let known unto the people of the earth. So if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and okay. Well, have a nice day. Let me make sure my mouse is working here because it keeps because it keeps getting stuck. I don't know why. So yeah, have a nice day, everyone. Bye bye.